New at 5:30, the state has approved a big change to the state's concussion law. It means major changes for coaches, kids, and parents. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us now live with more on the personal reasons so many are now pushing for this change. Mark. Hi, and good evening, everyone from the Hartford newsroom. Earlier this week, the NFL endorsed this change in Connecticut's concussion law. I was nauseous. I, I couldn't think straight. Um, of course, the pounding headache that, that never went away. Luke Sherwood, who suffered multiple concussions playing soccer when he was 12 and 13, stunned lawmakers last February with his story. Today, the House moved forward on a bill that will take the state's first in the nation concussion law to the next level, requiring school systems to not only provide concussion training to coaches, but to young athletes and their parents. Diana and Pippa have both been working on this because of what happened to their sons. Diana's son, Chris, received his first concussion at the age of 15. By the time he was at Yale, he had suffered six. After it took him so long to heal and he was not in very good shape, uh, he said to me that I need to work to change the culture so that this injury is accepted as a real injury. Pippa's son suffered two concussions, starting in grade five, playing touch football and wrestling. I am actually an occupational therapist by training, and I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't know in 2007 uh, the right thing to do for my child. The Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference already has online educational tools for coaches that will now be available for parents and athletes. We tried to make it as flexible as possible, Mark, so that the athlete or the parent would have multiple ways to get this information. However, it will not apply to youth sports. So will Pippa and Diane be back next year? That's our plan. We plan to keep going until we get um, an even better uh, law. Now, the Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference, known as the CIAC, says that there are more difficult issues in youth sports dealing with uh, volunteer coaches and liability and such that will have to be ironed out uh, and discussed for next year's General Assembly session. Part of this new law that was approved today would also create a task force to study those issues as well. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.